Uh, good win for us. Uh, you know, that's a team that they talked about uh, competitive spirit, and uh, they've got a lot of veteran guys. I respect them very much. Um, they played very hard. I thought we played very hard. I didn't think we shot very well. Um, and we kind of ran them down there in the second half. In the first half, we gave up a lot of blow buys, layups uh, defensively and, and defensive lapses, but mostly just guarding the basketball one on one. And, and so they got to a lot of loose balls early. Uh, they got to the rim too much early. I thought we did a better job in the second half. Uh, we had 22 deflections as a team. As a, you know, they don't turn it over very often, and and to get them to to, to turn it over uh, 20 times, I know a second night of back to back for them. But you know, I was proud of our guys because this was kind of a gritty win. Uh, it could have gone at different points either ways, um, but we we stuck together and kept competing defensively and, and got stops and held them to you know 41 percent shooting. And um, you know our second group there uh, in the end of the third quarter, I thought gave us great life. I thought they got a lot of those loose balls. I think Harry and and Marvin did a terrific. Job job just gobbling up rebounds it seemed like eight nine ten possessions in a row one of them was just going Wah! and uh, that was that was terrific for us uh, I thought Bogdanovich had a heck of a game and uh, has had a couple that he'd like to do over um, but he's a competitor and a pro and he, he was uh, very good at making plays and uh, certainly you know shooting the basketball tonight Uh, I think just fresher legs. Um, you know, we we're, we got some guys back in there. I, I played those guys a long, long time. In fact, I probably played Marvin too many minutes in a row. Uh, from the third quarter to the fourth quarter, but I liked what he was giving us. He gave us a go-to guy uh, on the post, and it helped our rebounding a lot. So uh, I, I was I was happy with it. You talk about just the bench in these final couple games. Um, the production you're getting from their bench to really balance scoring. What kind of effort are they bringing? Well, it's a, it's a keep the pace up, get after them defensively mindset group, and and that's positive because then that. That is what we're looking for as, as a whole team and, and to try to get off to quick starts in the first and third quarter and you have those guys come in and, and keep pushing that energy and keep the pace up. Um, you know, it's that time of year, you know, where teams are getting a little tired. Um, probably every locker room, you know, dudes are getting a little sick of each other and it's just that time of year. And, uh, you know, to keep the pace up and keep playing real fast uh, is, is a fun way to play. Coach, how much did Giles and Bagley sort of bring energy and change the complexity there in the third and early fourth? Well, it's, uh, you know, bouncy, uh, got some legs and, and, you know, jumping up and grabbing rebounds in traffic. Um, <clears throat> they're they're going to get stronger and better at finishing around the rim at the other end. Maybe they were fouled, maybe not. But as, as they get stronger and, and more experienced, they'll be able to draw those fouls and, and to finish those plays. Uh, defensively, things are going really fast for him, and it, it can be difficult. Um, there's times where you know Kemba Walker's going past everybody, and there's times where man, I got I'm, I'm a big, I got to play him. You know, he gets off it, they swing it right back to him, and oh, sh I got him. Yeah, now he's shooting a three. So it's just a good learning experience for us in a, in a competitive situation. Uh, Dave, you talked before the game about Fox kind of picking his spots defensively, and, and I just wonder if, if you kind of saw that in the fourth quarter. There was a uh, what seemed like kind of a pivotal moment where he, he came up with a steal from Kemba at midcourt and, and I think got back-to-back -back baskets for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's not easy chasing Kemba around because, you know, he'll come off of a, a screen, he'll come off a second screen, he'll throw it back, he'll come back and get a handoff, and uh, you're going to take some hits uh, chasing him around for sure. Coach, you, you, you talk, talked about uh, your team's defensive effort tonight. Um, can, you, can you just talk about what you've seen, I guess, over the past stretch of a few games? Uh, those guys said at the midway point that they're really focused on defense. They know they can score points, but they feel like they got to get stops if they want to get where they, they want to in, this, in terms of making a push for the playoffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, we just, you know, it, it's a young group. So, you know, I might show them something, and, and it's, it's at a certain level, and I will show them. Look, in in 120 games from now, we'll be able to do this, this, or this because your experience level will be able to like, oh no, that's just you know simple stuff right there. Um, so it just takes time and uh, putting the focus on it a little bit. And uh, you know, I called a couple timeouts tonight just to, to try to cinch up like now that w that we can't have, we can't have you know back to back layups or a guy going end to end, um, those kinds of things. So it's always just try to make it uh, is what we're focusing on right now, and uh, also the turnovers, which were yeah. under 20 tonight. Enjoy your all's weekend. Thanks.